to the pool. Oh, honey, doesn't it feel nice? It wakes you up. Let's just get some coffee. Honey. What? Try it on your forehead. Don't go so slow. Get in there. I'm done. Honey. Okay. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Ashley. I make healthy lifestyle videos, beauty content, fashion content, travel content, all of that fun stuff, and I would love to have you join our little community here, so welcome. We have already had a big day of like calls and meetings and all of these things that I was just so not prepared for. I'm still in my pajamas. <laughs> And I still haven't even had coffee. I had my first fueling of the day. I had the red berry crunchy O's. I had half a cup of almond milk for half a condiment. And then I had some water with some electrolytes. I really like my Ultima electrolytes. I count those as one condiment. And we've been rocking and rolling. If you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, welcome to day five of my 30 day healthy reset. We are rocking it out on our Optivia five in one plan. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I am actively documenting what's called my Schlee's Health Journey series, which is going through the weight loss component of my Optavia 5-in-1 plan and if you don't know what Optavia is I'll go ahead and leave all of the information down in my description box below feel free to send questions my way but the basics of the program is you consuming five fuelings a day and one lean and green meal a day all spaced out by two to three hour increments and that's what brings us into optimal weight during our optimal health phase so welcome to another episode of my Schlee's Health Journey series <laughs> documenting what I eat in a day on my Optivia 5-in-1 plan. We are actively documenting this from Phoenix, Arizona on our adventures from A to Z. Make sure you guys watch some of my previous videos to catch up because we've got a lot of things going on. But that being said, it has been just chaos this morning, like just chaos. And I told you guys I was going to vlog every single day during this 30 day healthy reset. Day one, day two, day 15, day 30, day whatever. And sometimes things don't go according to plan. But I am finally getting to intro this vlog and it is time for my second fueling of the day. Plus I still have not had coffee. And Zach and I have decided that we would like to try the French press again. I have been really missing my hot coffee. Like I've been having iced coffee pretty much all week and it's been just because we don't have a coffee maker here and we bought a French press and we've literally tried using the French press like probably 15 times and every single time we don't get it right. So we're gonna try it again. I'm gonna make Zach do it because he's better at it than me. <laughs> Um, and we'll see how it goes, but if I can get coffee out of this, I feel like my day will be going much better. Also, on the side of it being day five and all of us are in fat burn, I think I'm clearly representing that right now. I have a lot of energy. I think I might have hit it yesterday. Um, I'm feeling really good. I'm feeling great. I didn't get the best sleep last night, but I'm still feeling great. And I'm just excited to take on the rest of this journey with you guys. If you're actively on this 30 day healthy reset, make sure you guys tag me on Instagram, Ashley N. Kisner. Show me a picture of your tracking journal on Instagram. Use the hashtag 30 day reset. I have already made my template journal for today. I'm filling it out and I'm right here with you guys. So let's keep rocking it out. I'm gonna try making this coffee really quick and we're gonna see if it works. So you ready? Good to go. All right, let's see if we can make it happen. Also, Zach tried the ice roller today and was not very impressed, but I'm obsessed with it and I literally use it every single morning. So uh, highly recommend this investment. Okay, so this is Zach. For anybody who does not know him, we're gonna learn how to make a French press today. Probably not. <laughs> We've looked at a billion videos on how to do it right, and I'm pretty sure we're doing it right, and I still don't like it. Which, okay, what what French press are we using? I don't know. This is the Bodum? The Bodum, the original French press. From Target. With, we did also buy the Bodum grinder. Which I don't like. Which we don't like. So we just bought coarse ground coffee instead. Because the Bodum grinder, what's wrong with it? Like, why does it not There's work? There's no uh, timer or speed. You can't set it. So whenever you use it, it just, uh, the stuff on the bottom gets ground, stuff on the top doesn't. So the only option is really, just really finely. Ground. Yeah. It only does fine ground coffee. And the key for French press, we have done our research, is it needs to be coarse ground, right? Well, yeah, otherwise if it's too fine, it goes through the filter and then you drink it and it's nasty. So how many coffee bags have we gone through trying to get coarse ground? I think it's been like six. I don't know, 
we gave up. We gave up. <laughs> we literally bought so many different kinds of coffee trying to get coarse ground coffee that we ended up getting Pete's. Do you still have the bag? We ended up getting Pete's coffee. Well, this isn't actually coarse ground, but they had a grinder at the, yeah. at the store. So we ground it at Fry's. Like they have those like grinders you can use at the grocery store. And we just like picked the coarse ground option. But you have measured out how much we need, right? We have 56 grams of coarse ground coffee. Okay, 56 grams. Is that like seven scoops? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna try. Did you already boil the water? No. We're gonna try to get this French press right. And personally, I don't think it's gonna work. <laughs> but anybody, anybody who has tips for us, Please leave them below because... Even though we're not going to light the coffee, we'll use this tip. Apparently, it's a good idea to put hot water in the French press. Really? Just so it warms up the glass, so that way when you put in the actual hot water, it doesn't cool down at all. Okay. I feel like it's a, it's a bougie way of doing it, and it doesn't actually matter because we're not going to get it right anyway. Yeah, probably not. We've done this so many times, but I just want hot coffee! All right, so now it is warmed up. We'll keep it in there until the other water is done. I don't know if I gave a backstory on this, but this is the actual coffee maker that's in our Airbnb. And I think it's just old. It just does not work. It's like the coffee is really gross and it's like really watered down and... I don't get it. Yeah, I don't we know. Had our coffee, or we had our coffee figured out in, your, uh, in Colorado. Yeah, so we had coffee, great coffee. Nothing works, we can't Yeah, it it's not working, so... Here's yeah. the French press. I blame Arizona. I love Arizona though. Yeah. So we're heating it up with hot water right now. I mean, it's already warm, but yeah, I'm just waiting for this. That way, but, that way you're not putting hot water in cold glass and like cooling it down a little bit. So we're actively like brewing our hot water in electric tea kettle, which I also, I really love my tea kettle. Like this is one thing that we brought with us from Denver. I literally just get it off Amazon and I use it for like my hot chocolates and things like that. But we're gonna brew the water in there. While we are waiting for this process, I'm going to have fueling number two, silky peanut butter bar, the bar that Zach hates. It's gross, don't get it. I think it's the best one they make. I'm just saying, it's absolutely delicious. I'm gonna have fueling number two and hopefully we get this coffee saga right. Okay, I think our water's done. You gotta walk us through oh, your process here. All right. Process number one, dump the water out. Cause that would be gross. Okay, so that was just hot water. Now, our French press is nice and warm. Insert the 56 grams of coarse ground coffee. Okay. Set our timer for four minutes. I actually go over four minutes, so I'm doing a stopwatch. Four minutes. <clears throat> Cause we did four minutes and then it was just kinda. Wait, when do you start the timer? When as soon as it poured in. Once it's poured in, okay. But the first thing I do is bloom the grounds, is what I've been told. We have watched so many videos, videos on this. <laughs> so, start time. Pour some water in there. I don't know if this is just something that somebody said, that we're blooming them. I don't know what that means. It's like spinning them around before you put the rest of the water in. I don't know. I watched some fancy people videos and they said to do this. <laughs> so, wait for 30 seconds and then fill it up. Basically just going to fill it up to where I can fit the top in. That's what I don't get though. Like, are we supposed to be measuring this water? Well, we did and it came out to the same point. Interesting. So, I mean, we might be off by like a couple drops of water but that's and then on the videos they're like yeah just pour it in this much and i'm like why do they make it look so easy mix it around are you blooming again i don't know what that part's called <laughs> and then we'll put a little blanket on it a blanket so it stays nice and warm and we wait okay so we wait for the rest of the timer right how much is on the timer well it's the stopwatch it's oh. supposed to be four minutes, but we've been doing four minutes and like 30 seconds-ish. Okay. Every all right. Every time we do four minutes, it comes out like watery, like the coffee's not strong at all. 
All right, we'll check back in with you guys as soon as this is done. <laughs> okay, we're back. How long has it been? Four minutes and 20 seconds. Four minutes and 20 seconds, okay. Okay, do the deed. Three seconds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now we push it down. Does the speed matter? I don't know. Does it matter? I mean, we were going like real slow. Just in case. And according to all the videos, we now have a perfect French press. <laughs> I just, I don't think it's perfect. I don't, I don't have high hopes. They ne <coughs> it never works out. It's like always too watery. Ugh, okay, go ahead. Okay. It smells over brewed. Does it? Yeah. What the heck? We do four minutes, it's watery, four and a half minutes. It smells burnt. And they act like this is such a leisurely thing. Not bad, it's not good. <laughs> what, what do you, okay, one out of ten. You let a solid five. Zach drinks black coffee, so he kind of knows. But I also don't know Pete's, so maybe Pete's is gross. No, Pete's is good. Okay, Pete's is good. I've tried it. Ah, uh, still a fail. All right, okay, I'm gonna try putting in my half and half and my sugar-free caramel and the way that I normally make my coffee and we'll taste it and we'll see if it's good. Not looking good. <laughs> so I'll fill it up. And that's like all of it. Like there's like none left. I like three tablespoons of half and half to count as one healthy fat. That's what I've always done in my coffee. So we'll do three. I have a feeling this is gonna end up with us going to press. Okay, and then I like to do one tablespoon, sometimes half a tablespoon of caramel. So two tablespoons of this is a full condiment. So I might just do one tablespoon for half a condiment, but let's see. Mix it up. And then I like to use my Zulai hand mixer and mix it up. This is pretty full, so I'm not gonna do too much. Okay, let's see what it tastes like. Official taste test. Let's see if this is good. It's kind of hot. Hmm. So mine wasn't the official taste test. Yours is the official taste test. Well, mine has good stuff in it. Just saying. I feel like I can live with it today. It's not like I will like throw it out. What do you think? I'm gonna throw mine out. Zach's probably gonna throw his out. When you drink black coffee, it kinda has to be good. That's true. It's not good. It's not very good! <laughs> the aftertaste is like, not great. Do we think it's Pete's? It could be, I mean, we tried, we tried the Kona coffee, we tried the Intelligentsia, we tried. We tried everything. Okay, this is the official ask for help. If anybody can help us figure out the French press, I would really appreciate it. <laughs> I think the solution is just go to Pete's. They're not Pete's, what's it called? Press. Press, press coffee is our favorite. We might end up there. Ah, <laughs> so frustrating. All right, well, coffee press, French press fail. Stay tuned for the next episode of <laughs> Zach actually tried a coffee. <laughs> Any last words? Oh no. <laughs> Not good. Where did we end up? Uh, press. They make better coffee than I do. They do make better coffee than you. Hey, to my credit, I make better coffee than you do. That's true. My best friend
didn't care about the rules Good on the weekends I'll be in fools Drifting the deep space So brave and so stupid Just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this Until we couldn't do it Each and every high Every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken Shattered Singing along to nothing Matters Stray around like nighttime Rumors We were in Too deep In your worn out sweaters Thinking we'll be young forever Driving in your mom's old hatchback And we were in Too deep breakfast honey thank you so much this guy made my lean and green for me what a cutie did you add healthy fat honey yes okay i love you 17 so much tablespoons of dressing. 17 tablespoons you're gonna go i love you love you zach made my lean and green and if you guys did not see the meal prep video that went live yesterday, this is literally just the meal prep. I think he just threw it in the pan and then we added two tablespoons of that Ken's dressing that we picked up. I think that stuff is really yummy. I'm in the middle of editing this vlog for you guys. I'm gonna have this up ASAP, but I'm working hard and trying to get it up for you. So this is gonna be my lean and green. Lean and green in bed, I can't beat it. I think I will keep him. So this is seven ounces of ground turkey, half a cup of broccoli, half a cup of peppers, and half a cup of cauliflower rice with two tablespoons of the Ken's Italian dressing. So that is two healthy fats for today, and this is gonna be my lean and green. Fueling number four will be next, and I will check back in with you guys then. Okay guys, so really quick, I know today is a little out of order, and I normally would have gone to the gym by now, but, I've been really trying to bang out this video and it's been taking so long to upload that like I have to stick around until it's done uploading and on YouTube because I don't know what the heck is going on, but it's taking forever. So that being said, I'm probably gonna do another fueling, fueling number four now, and then go to the gym after that. I still really wanna hit the gym. I'm getting into the habit of going to the gym every single day and doing 30 minutes of cardio, light cardio, that's all I need. And I'm halfway done with my water today. I am three refuelings in and my full lean and green already had all my healthy fats and pretty much all of my condiments we did end up going to press coffee for coffee today i'm sure you guys saw that but oh that coffee was just not good it was not good and we really don't know what we're gonna do but 
that was not the way. So I threw my coffee out, I had like one sip and that was it. So I ended up going to press and my favorite thing to get there is their eight ounce almond milk latte. It's just straight unsweetened almond milk and espresso and it's actually really, really good. So that counted as another one of my condiments and we are right on track for today. I just think I'm gonna hit one more feeling right now. I'm also really craving something sweet. So I think I'm gonna do like a brownie, but I'm gonna do one more feeling really quick now and then we'll probably head to the gym and have our last fueling and end out the night. I saw you from across the room When our eyes met I never knew That I could feel this way And it's kinda strange again it's the end this is my last feeling this is feeling number five this is the velvety hot chocolate honestly just wanted something cozy and warm and sweet to end the night and this felt like the easiest option <laughs> um so it was actually really nice Zach and I got to do like a little bit of night swim at lifetime tonight it was really fun they have a rooftop pool and it is the coolest thing it's like our favorite place to hang out I am just looking at how I look in this video and um, realizing I never put on makeup today. I hope that's okay with you guys. Um, this is real life. This is me vlogging every single day. It was Saturday and I'm trying to let my skin breathe a little bit. So this is what we're getting, I guess. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna sip on this last fueling, fueling number five, velvety hot chocolate. I have completed my entire fueling tracking journal for today. I feel like we did pretty good on that. I got all of my water in and all of my healthy fats ended up just being the dressing on my lean and green. So that worked out really well. I am looking forward to another day. I feel like I'm slowly getting this routine down. That was like one of my biggest things that I wanted to accomplish with this whole 30 day healthy reset was implementing a new routine that I can really be proud of and stick to. So feel like we're getting it down and me tracking is keeping things really in check. So that's going well and I'm just excited to keep going. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today, you guys. If you guys like this video, please like the video down below as well as subscribe to my channel and tick that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload because I have new videos going live every night this month at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I will check in with you guys tomorrow. Please stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Look at me. What, what face am I supposed to <laughs> I don't know. Just be like. That's what I was doing. Okay. And they said, look at you. Look at me. Okay. Thumbnail done. <laughs>